oh, this guy. Gotta get him. <laughs> it's this guy. Check him. What's check him mean? He probably uh, got the laptop out. Yeah, he's yeah. typing. He's got the tune. Go. Here. A dirty car. Filthy, in fact. Looking real gross. But um, we're going to take care of that. And we're going to uh, take care of the problem with the cross member in the front. The axle's rubbing on the cross member. So um, I got a replacement one of those from uh, good buddy Art from the FX group on Facebook. Uh, he had it uh, brought to me out at Solo Nationals this year by another guy from his region. You know, good community that we have for these cars and for car guys in general, racers and, um, you know, everybody's everybody's looking out for each other. So yeah, I've picked that up at Solo Nationals. I'll be putting that on uh, with maybe reinforcing the motor mounts a little bit. And then we'll get it cleaned up and swap over that passenger seat uh, so it matches the uh, the other Corbo that's in the driver's side. Um, maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I want to pay for the bracket for that. So we'll see uh, where that ends up. But we're definitely going to swap the wheels over. Some nice five-spoke bronze wheels. And uh, and get this ready for street duty for the uh, maybe, maybe you know, nice days this winter and then in the spring uh, is the plan. The boys really want it back up and running so we can all go for a rip. Um, so that's, uh, that's the current plan. So let's, you know, let's get some, I'll do some stuff over there and then I'll come back over here and we'll do the things with the stuff. All right. Today's the day doing FX things. We got Hudson here. We got Miles and Parker way down there getting the stuff. We're going to move all the things. Move that thing to over here, move that thing out there, put that thing in there, take the wheels off of that, put the wheels from that on that, put the snow tires on that. We got a lot to do. Best get to it. A little right. Okay, straight on. Okay, working back here, getting them wheels off. Watch that battery behind you, Parker. Don't knock that stuff over. Still boiling batteries over here. Yeah, put some starter stack right there. We got one, two, and then back here, three, four bolts for the cross member. And then we got one, two, three, four bolts for the uh, motor mounts. They're up in here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think just knock out the cross member bolts. If I remember correctly, you can do so. And then take out the, well, I guess the pan has to come off. This pla this plastic crap has to come off, which sucks. So we can get to the, ooh, there's spider's nests up in there. That's fun. Probably black widders. I recall you can get to those motor mount bolts, but we gotta take these plastics off. All right, there's a, Bolt up there for the motor mount. There's an equal one back there on the other side. And I also want to take a look at the engine bay just to remind myself if, uh, you know, the engine's going to hold itself up when I take those motor mounts off. We'll find out. Okay. So, if memory serves, yes, there is a motor mount over here. And there is a motor mount over here. So, taking off the front and rear one should not make the motor fall out of the vehicle. Shouldn't, but, Should. you know, we'll find out. The uh, oxygen sensor is right in the way. Hit it. Okay. Cool. Want me to pull the bolt out? I don't think you'll be able to, because okay. it has the weight of the motor on it. Yeah, that's true. I don't know that I need to be under it when I do it, since I have the ridiculously long extension. Oh my god. I might be able to just go from the other side. All right, bolt spinning. Okay, and there is the old cross member. Hooray! And now what we need 
is a new one. Right down there, it's been chewing on that sucker. Taking a little bit of a chunk out there. Uh huh, she's similar. Very similar. Just hammer it out of the way, it's fine. Well, I wonder, I wonder if it's not due to, yeah, a completely broken motor mount. See that? And that one. Are both broken? Yeah. Well, we're not doing this today, fellas. That's not happening. But we can take these motor mounts off and clean them up and, uh, um, fill them again. Uh, and I have polyurethane that we should mix up and do this the right way so they don't break again. But man, look at, I mean, the force. I mean, these were, these were brand new rubber mounts. And I filled them with window weld. And the, the torque of the mighty 4AG motor has just ripped them to shreds. And that's why it's banging on here. It's not because this thing's bent. It's the same reason why that one's got marks on it. Because the motor mounts go bad. And then you get marks because the motor drops. So you just got the, too much power. Hits the cross member. Okay, well, let's pop these off of here. Okay. You know, stuff. stuff. <laughs> that, that's a solid motor mount, but I don't know which one it is. So we'll go ahead and stick with that one for now. Maybe I have two good ones. That would be really something. I know I have some brand new ones for the MR2, and maybe I have some new ones for the FX, and I thought that I would replace, I thought that I would fill the old ones instead of replacing them, and uh, that that's a possibility. Looks like we have, I got a lot of Beck Arnley boxes in here, so I'm gonna check out this one real quick. This will be a bench for right now. There it is. I think all the Beck Arnley boxes are just boots. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, that's a transmission mount. That's not going to do us any good. Right here. But this one, I think is. I think that's the other one. I think we have both of them. Let's go see. Are you sure? Oh yeah. Mm. That's that's this one, but that bump's not nearly as big. And then this one. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no thing at all. So I think that's what happened is I ordered these, maybe not this one. This is an old one for sure, but I ordered this one, and its insides are the same as this one, and it would mount the same, right? It has the same holes, mm -hmm. I think. We just, is this rubber? What is this? That is metal coated in plastic. So that's why I didn't use this one because I was like, well, that what one we just is clearly better. Know. No, we're not going to weld it on because it won't stay. That's why. And there's rubber in there. It'll all melt. These will bolt up so they could work for now. And then we yeah, could, can't be worse. And right? then we could empty these out and fill them and do it proper and do this whole job over again. I, they can be worse. <laughs> they absolutely can be worse. I mean, it's going to be, it is going to work better than not having motor mounts. But I, I worry about that, that bump being on there because that bump was, you know... It's doing something. And then we got the these isolator things that we need to not lose. They're still on that end, but they fell off at this end. We gotta replace those back there. I don't know what to do here. Send it? No, because to do it the right way would be to clear those out and actually put, you know, decent polyurethane in them for a change. That instead of this window. Today. That means that we don't drive it today. Yeah, it doesn't get washed, it doesn't do anything today, but that's the way this stuff goes, you know? If we do this today, I mean it's easy enough to drop the thing. I mean how to take, like, yeah, and if this doesn't work, then we'll have to come back and do it anyway. But like, yeah, that's that's the downside is that if this doesn't work, then what are we doing? You know, like we're just we're just gonna drive it right back in here, you know, and we have to do all this all over again. Well, whatever, I guess. Might as well. All right, <laughs> got him. Okay, so it hasn't really been an hour yet, but we're still gonna check this battery. It's getting warm, but it's not hot, so that's good. Um, I hope it's doing the right thing, but we won't know for a good long while whether it is or not. The problem that we have is, look at the size of that battery down there. It's real teeny. And then your normal battery is a big boy, like the one on the left. If you look right here, we've made a, we've made a battery mount for the tiny battery, and we can't put a bigger battery in its place uh, to replace it at the moment. So this is just the way it has to be, and we have to have that small battery in there, so we'll we'll figure it out.
Now they're tight. Maybe it'll be able to hammer up in there. It's just the this is the harder way, I think. Okay, I think I think I've got it. Here we go. All right. Well, that's uh, let's look at the uh, axle. You know, the thing that was rubbing. No, it's not touching. Um, Miles, do you think you can spin it anymore, or is it is it stopped for you? It's not touching. I'm looking right at it. I can see air underneath it. It is not okay, touching. Let's just send it. Okay. Well, it says it's done charging there. Let's see what the uh, let's see what the little little, little battery is is reading here. <laughs> it's like no. That's what it's reading. It says no. I saw fourteen four. Dude. I'll be dipped. I'll be dipped. She's back. They got her baby. Well, that's what it's charging to anyway. Is is it going to hold that charge? Let's just let it sit here because it's still charging. Just let it. It's just we're just going to let it cook while we do the wheels. That really looks like a brown recluse house. Come look at this guy with, with the camera in there. Oh, huh. look at that feller. That looks like it, he made a little house in there. Whoa! It goes down there pretty oh, it far. Does. Cool. 16 lug nuts on the fit that'll fit this car. Uh -huh. But four of them have to remain on the fit because one corner has extended lugs on the fit. Yeah. So we need four extended lugs that aren't stripped out. Four extended stud. What am I trying to say? Yeah, four, four, of the, four of the long extended lugs that aren't stripped out, which I should have from all of the extras that I've ever gotten but they're gonna be in that box over at the other house. So before we take the wheels off of the fit, we should probably drive it back to the other house and get the lug nuts that we need and then come back. We're up there. I'm gonna start loosening them while you're backing it. Get in the right spot, I can't see from More. More in? And, uh, okay, whoa. That seems like it's real far. That, yeah. Right That's there? That's good, yep. Oh, that's good. Oh, she's ready to eat. Oh, yeah. Winter fit mode, my favorite. Love them steelies. So the next step is going to be to go over there to the MR2 and uh, kind of steal some lug nuts. Because we, we don't have enough for the FX. So we're gonna steal them from there, put some crap back on there, cause it ain't going anywhere right now. And then we'll use all four of those uh, from each wheel for the FX. Let's see what it's up. Uh, I'm us. You do better I'm working that. on it here. Some okay, I got them out there working now. You all can stay here with me and we'll deal with this battery. It says uh, flow, whatever that means, but I think it means that we're, we're charged maybe. So what we're going to do is unplug. The battery is not even really warm. I'm going to unplug from there. I'm going to unplug the charger from the battery as well. We got some crazy stuff going on here. Hey, I wanted to pause here for a moment and explain why there's two batteries like this. With AGM batteries, which what this little, uh, you know, O'Reilly special tiny battery is, is AGM auto glass mat. Auto glass mat? I don't know. AGM battery. The way to recharge them from dead is through another battery. So you wire it up in series with a legitimate car battery, full size lead acid car battery, and you hook the charger up to that battery and that allows you to get a good charge on the AGM. Why does it work? No idea. Google it, but that's the way to do it. I couldn't charge it with just the charger on the AGM battery. It would not take the charge, but it took the charge this way and it has held for quite some time ever since. So top tip of the day and also explaining why it looks so weird, but this should yield us a charge battery. I hope. Man, I can't wait till those boys clean this car up. It is not clean <laughs> in the moment. It's full of spiders and everything else, leaves. I'll have to vacuum before we wash. Before I strap it in here fully, 
I'm going to go ahead and see if she's working. See if she'll light. Oh, boy. It's buzzing for some reason. All right, well, that's a good sign. Uh, okay. Well, it has some sort of power, at least. Let's uh, tighten those down. Just knocked my battery bracket tie down into the dirt over there. I'm trying to shock myself over here. It's not in the dirt. It's right there. Quit touching both terminals at once, you idiot. You're going to electrocute yourself. Now i got to go down fishing for that. Okay. That's procured. Hopefully she lights off. If she does, then we'll keep it running. Dog wants to get out real bad. hey -oh! She's alive. She's alive. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of smoke. Not a lot. Hudson's got the fan going so we can clear out some of this exhaust. But she's a little smoky. Swap them front to rear, though. Bring the rears in first and put those on the front. Here, Hudson. Grab this guy. Take it to the front of the FX. This guy's treating it like he's lifting a 20-inch wheel. And ain't got no weight to it, see? Hey, we need lug nuts over here. Lug nuts. Lug nuts. Lug nut guy's got him. He's just got pockets full. Yeah. Come here, Mom. I'm down to... Uh, you give him all four? You might want to give him all four. He does need four of them. Yeah. She might be burning a little oil. Yeah, the studs are a little rusty. Exactly the way you want them to go, but... You know, they'll eat. It's, uh, it's self cleaner. That's what you can't. We got to lift the front to get the front ones. Yeah, two at a time. All right, watch, be clear of the car. That's what's important. Well, you can only do what you can do at once, you know? I think you're doing just fine. That's fine. Why don't you, why don't you drop it fast twice then? Yeah, that brake fluid's not great, is it? There's a price you pay for having more hands, but it's supposed to work out for the better. It doesn't often always. Hey, Hudden, while you're standing there on the jack, could you haul it inside? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not rubbing. loud. We're going to get some satisfying shots of this grime coming off of here right after he's got her nice and wetted down. Oh yeah. Satisfaction guaranteed right there. That's number one. We got to see this come off of here. has come for the spray off of the AP. All-purpose cleaner has soaked in for about four or five minutes now. Now we're going to hose it off, get all the gunk off.
licensed music. I made it up myself. Yeah, now's the time to get all the cracks and crevices clean. So spray from the top of all that paneling and stuff, like that, yeah, the side paneling, spray from the top of that and get water in underneath it. Not strip, yeah, back a little bit so you're not stripping glue off, but yeah, there you go. That's pretty good. Here, let me see it. You still haven't really scraped the door clean. This is what I mean when I mean scraping. Top to bottom like you're painting it, right? Like you had to paint the whole panel all the way down. Probably won't work after this. Yeah, but they look way better. I drive that. Last spray down after a hand wash. Looking much, much cleaner, but we forgot the engine bay, so we'll have to do that once we're done here. Hit it with a little all purpose, let it soak, spray it off, and call it good for now. All right, last effort here is just to scrub it down. All the geese come in. We're just giving a little scrub down to this all-purpose cleaner on here. Miles got the brush working out some of the little areas. I got a rag just kind of rubbing it over a few things. And hopefully the car starts after this because, you know, you never know what kind of water you get into your digicals. Water and digicals are not friends. Oh, this is dirty. Yeah, that's, that's good right there. Get that side of the hose. Oh, no. 710 cap, you mean? That says over here, but over here says it says 710. See? Oh yeah. 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 I'm not sure what 710 is. I always put oil in it. All right. Fire this beast up. I'll go for a rip. It started. That's good. We like that. We'll let it warm up a minute. Yeah, well, I take it real easy on the shifting because uh, the motor mounts are not good. Not good. But we will make new motor mounts soon out of ADA, ATA polyurethane. It's It could use to be cleaned inside, I think. It'll be good. Yeah, it's not the best. Cold start in this is uh, 2200. <laughs> Just pegged. Seven? 75 is the shown red line. The real one's probably about 78. I think it's about 78. Now. He knows a lot about the red line. Yeah. Oh, me. Yeah, all you do is ram, 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 ram. Oh, yeah, that's all this car does is really get started. It just goes to the red line and stays there pretty much all day and, and then, then put it away for a while. It just pulls it out Six of the months. driveway. That's probably why the motor mounts are toast. No. That and the fact that that um, oil cooler line seems to be leaking, which we might want to check the oil level. Light's not on. It's running. We have pressure <laughs> because the light's not on. So, All right. Let's just see if we can get it dropped. A little, a little bit. bit. Not much. Might as well drive it. Ooh. Oh. Brakes unlocking. Oh. I bet they're still nice and soapy. Oh. Are we That's scrape? A... Surely not. Surely not. Well, this is good. And that around. Let's see how good these wipers are. The camera can see better than you. Yeah, I'll just look through the camera. I clear them up. Killed it. Whoops. That's third gear. You don't want to take off a third gear. You always do that, too. There go the motor mounts. Yep. Remember when you said you're going to be easy. Yeah. <laughs> we're gone. Well, at least it's raining out. Yeah. That's true. Windshield needs a good coating of uh, rain egg stuff, but these wipers are trash. All right, close when it's cold. Okay. First roundabout of the day. We have the rear tires pumped up more than the fronts, which probably is not a good idea. As it's raining. It's raining, but whatever. You know, it's probably fine. It's all right. It's just sliding. <laughs> it's just, it's just sliding everywhere. We just got freaking summer tires on here. Yeah, it's all it's on, and it's 40 degrees and raining. Let's turn. 
funniest thing about this car is the perception of speed. There's four of us in here, and this car probably has just as much power as our Honda Fit does. And, and it's definitely older suspension and stiffer suspension, but this car just it feels, feels so much faster. faster. It's not at all. No. It, 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 it is. It's not at all. It's faster. got the freaking rally cross banner on it. It's it's way faster. It must faster. be faster. The stickers make it faster. Yeah. yeah. It's like freaking. Each letter is 20 horsepower. That's yeah. true, yeah. This guy. Dude. We have to get him. No, we're not getting him. Don't do it. Check check it. Yeah, we have a Bondo Kraken in the back. Corner. Check him. With all the spray paint. What's, the, what's check him mean? Check <laughs> sure he's going to go. In the rain? Yeah. yeah. They got to go first. Hit Rev a little bit. Do it. Dude. 73 OPS. Yeah. Dooley. This is dumb. This is like, yeah. We're, de on, we're definitely going to break the motor mounts. <laughs> we're breaking the motor mounts is what's going to yeah, happen. He's recording. He probably uh, got the laptop out. Yeah, he's yeah. typing. He's got the tune. Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wheel up, baby. He's gone. Oh, and he's he turning. He was turning. Hey, we got him. All right. Well, we got to rip the motor mounts one more time because we have to do a burnout at Kel's house. Hopefully, he's right there. Motor mount's gone. Every time. If it wasn't raining, it'd get grip and it would break stuff. Yeah, break stuff. Yeah, we're doing that. Plus burnouts. Cruise plus burnouts. I mean, I think we've proved our point for the video, at least. We've we've cruised. We're cruising. The FX is back. It just needs to be better. And now I can stop recording things. So, that'll be all. Say bye, everyone. Wave until you can't wave anymore. Just keep waving. Just wave. We have good the video will be over soon. Just keep waving. Waving. Why are you still here? Oh, Why are you still here? <laughs> <laughs>